Hi, this is Christopher at Denver Starfest 2011. I am here with, if you don't recognize the name, you'll recognize the face, Mark Shepard. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank I, you. I say that because you are, you have become sort of everywhere. Uh, you've done, a, I mean, prolific might be an understatement. I'm attempting to become the Jack Cassidy of my generation. <laughs> Just show up a little bit everywhere here and there? Pretty much. We try. Now, what some people don't know, because you've obviously been acting and all over the place, is you're also a musician as well. Uh, did you have to, was there a kind of a point where, as you were growing up or whatever, where you had to kind of make the decision, okay, am I going to go to the music or, or go to the acting or no. been I able was, to kind I of do a, both? I was a, a working musician, somewhat successful musician, played in mm -hmm. a lot of bands. And at some point, somebody asked me to do a play and I did a play and that became... Um, Reasonably, reasonably successful, and mm -hmm. then I had to do my first film, and then I ended up doing more acting than I did music. Yeah. Do you still find time to sit in on a jam session every now and again, or uh, uh, not play as up, not as often as I'd like? So, what you need to do, maybe you need to find some uh, way to incorporate both. You know, sort of a, uh, a commitments type of thing or something where you can do with the uh, the music and the film at the same time. It sounds quite tiring. <laughs> in between in between roles on the shows that I'm on. That's true. Okay, so I mean, you've done all the roles, both sides of the Atlantic. You know, you've done a lot of work in the UK, done a lot of work here. Actually in the US. not. No? Actually not, no. I'm, I'm, I've lived in America for 25 years. Oh, and okay. done very little commuting. The first piece of British television I've ever done is Doctor Who, which will be out next week. Yeah, and I actually wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit. I know you probably can't talk a whole lot about it, but I did want to bring that what up. What do you want to know? Well, I, I, this is, I, I did find out that you are actually going to, the, in the episode, you actually, uh, your father also appears. Is that, is that true? I have no idea. You don't know? <laughs> give me something. I give you something? Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, what do we know thus far? We know that um, Nixon is involved. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, the baddies, the monsters, are, are super, super scary. Okay. We know that uh, River Song is involved and that we're finding more and more about... Uh, the relationship between River Song and the Doctor. Excellent. Uh, we know that Matt Smith is amazing. Mm -hmm. We know that. Uh, we agree on that. That's good. That's true. I think he's the best Doctor thus far. After all these years, I, I really do believe he's a he's, he's a wonderful breath of breath of fresh air in this in this mm -hmm. area. But um, I think you're going to really enjoy the story. The story is very different. The director, who has, uh, unusually has directed the last three stories, so he did Pandorica, he did Christmas, and now he's done, uh, now he's done Astronaut. So um, that should be interesting. The one, the the guest star before me, of course, is Sir Michael Gambon, and mm -hmm. the one after me is Michael Sheen. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, Neil Gaiman wrote the next. Yeah, it's going to be next. next it's going to be an exciting Chunk, season. Yeah. which is fun, The Doctor's Wife. I, get, I met Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is my new best friend, I think. <laughs> wonderful man. Great, wonderfully talented writer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's coming on Saturday. It's Sunday now. We've got six more days and I, I know, get to watch it. I know. We've been kind of waited with bated breath for the pins it's, and needles. It's, it's a lot bigger than you expect because of obviously shooting in Utah and... Mm -hmm. uh, and um, <clears throat> And bringing the production to America, which is very unusual, yeah. and BBC America becoming involved in it, right? You know, this way. Yeah, we actually get to see it the same day as the UK this time. Yeah. So that's that's really exciting. I got to do a lot of very fun commercials for it too, which yeah. is which is excellent. Good. So, uh, when you do get the roles, obviously, like I said, you're very prolific and everything. Did how do you weed through all these scripts? Do you ever kind of sit there and just go, Nah, I've done a character like that, and Nah, that one that's kind of. How do you? choose or does it just Matt does it does someone call and you go sure I'll do that <laughs> it depends yeah. it depends who's calling if mm, Ron Moore calls go. and goes will you do this it's usually yes, yes. I'll do that <laughs> or if Joss or anybody else that, that you know Javier Grisha Marks watch or Narain Shankar or, mm -hmm. or Rene Echeverria or or <clears throat> Michelangelo or Michael Taylor or any of the other great writers that have written roles for me um, Stephen Moffat right yeah it's um, you pretty much say yes to any of those guys right it's always going to be fun Exactly. Uh, is there has there been so far a role or a type of role that you've enjoyed a little bit more than another? Um, no, in some way they're all pretty special. Mm -hmm. In some way they're all pretty special. I enjoy them. You never know what the next one's going to be like, and they're not all over with. Right. You never die in sci-fi. No, it's true. They just clone you or do a tiny thing and. Well, you're there's back. a purpose to it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it depends on the show. But. Right. You know what? Uh, 
I thank you very much. I hope you're having a good time here at Starfest. Absolutely. Denver's a great place to be. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and I appreciate you sitting down with me. Thank my you very pleasure. much. My pleasure. Thanks. All right.